Hello fellow YouTubers, my name is Dan and I'll admit I'm addicted to playing around with stuff in my shop. Recently, uh, just the other day, I completed this PM Research Vertical Coke Bottle Steam Engine. PM Research is out of Wellsville, New York. This particular casting has a 5 8 bore and a 7 8 stroke. It's a double acting steam engine and I'm running it on compressed air. It's seven and a half inches tall and has a three inch diameter flywheel. The kit comes with 18 bronze and iron castings and a little bit of brass. And it has a, an aluminum cast base. I went ahead and made mine out of steel. It also includes all the required screws, gaskets, bar stock, and uh, some working drawings that are very detailed. As far as machining required, I happen to have a milling machine with a uh, three axis DRO and uh, a lathe and a drill press. But I've heard that people can do this with little more than a vial, an electric drill, and some measuring equipment. This kit costs $110, and those folks at PM Research, I can't speak highly enough about them. I messed up a couple uh, castings in here as I was making this, and uh, they just charged me shipping and replaced them for nothing. One was a connecting rod, and uh, I forget the other one. Anyway, the most difficult part, the most challenging part on this entire machine for me was that little eccentric right down there and what I found was I just kept on getting because I forget what the offset is but I kept on getting swarf build up where they come together at the offset and I finally just decided to make two of them the right diameters as specified on the plans and silver sawed them together and that that works good if I were to make it over again I would go through and make every single part that's shown on the drawings that says it has to be a certain tolerance that is you know plus or minus one or two thousandths I would highlight those on the drawings just so I could ponder how I'm going to go about doing that to make sure that I would hit that hit those tolerances right so I know I can run this down to around 200 even a little less than 200 rpm but right, let's just see what happens here Sometimes I got to give it a little bit of twist here. I had it up over a thousand RPM, no problem. But let me run her down here pretty low. That's about as low as it wants to keep running. Anyway, it's been a fun and challenging item to build, and uh, I enjoyed it, and uh, thank you for watching my video.